Taste the dirt as I hit the ground You were there, you were there through it all How far are you gonna go Before you know what you should've known all along Now at last I can fall How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful, albeit little chilly morning in BC. The lake is nice and calm, and I need to get out and do some walking because I've been focusing on the van build quite a lot these last couple days, and I haven't been taking as many painkillers in the interest of not wanting to destroy my insides. I've been doing my best to wean myself off the amount I've been taking. Of course, that coupled with all of the bending and the ins and the outs of the van and this, that, and the other thing. My back is telling me it's just a little bit upset with me. So, woke up this morning, put on my wireless TENS machine. I've had it going pretty much ever since, although it's taking a break right now. And I thought I'd come out for a little bit of a walk just to get everything moving. When I get focused on the van like that, I definitely neglect the simple fat, uh, the, the simple activity of just getting out and walking one foot in front of the other. So, did that this morning, and already my back is starting to feel better. This isn't going to be too intense of a van build video. It, uh, my intention was for today to be a rest day. That's clearly not going to happen to the extent of doing nothing. A little, little, few little things around the van, and. Um, Maybe we will finally get to that cabinet, the last remaining cabinet in the good ship, Lucky. I'm gonna get back to the garage and we'll have a chat about the, that and a couple other things. Just a nice simple video today. And I guess off the top here, I will say thank you very much for watching. I got a little close to the smoke. We all know how I feel about that. All right, so first little thing I think I want to do as well, let's make sure the door stays open, <laughs> is uh, reinforce this little corner on the bed here. So if we look here, like the bed platform is all screwed down and supported, which is great. This one corner is just a little weak. Now, is it actually going to cause any problems once the mattress is in here? Probably not. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's little things like that that drive me absolutely crazy. And I'd rather just have the structural integrity than not. So I was looking at different ways to do it. Obviously, my first way was like, oh, I could put a leg in in the corner, I could go all the way to the ground. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, why would I use that much wood and add that much weight? We're talking about a very small amount of weight here. Of course, but I imagine every little ounce counts. So I had this little knobby left over and I have this like strut support beam that I installed the first time I built Lucky 
And I think this guy will fit really nice right there. Probably with some construction adhesive and some screws. Let me uh, turn on my flashlight so we can actually see. My goodness, the production value around here. That's yeah, a little bit better, if not filled with shadows. All right, put this here. Construction adhesive on this side. A couple screws through this way. And that bed should be nice and supported. It's a real simple project that shouldn't hurt my back. That being said, just that simple motion of bending down and up to do that shot. My back is saying, hey, jerk, go sit down. I say, nay. Well, sadly, my uh, screw choice is a little limited here. I'm not gonna go buy a whole box of new screws just for this. So clearly this bottom one will not work because you hold this up here. That's actually, that wouldn't go into wood. This would end up going into metal. I don't feel like doing that because that's not a sheet metal screw or anything like that. This guy, well, he's a little less knobbish, or I guess I should say more knobbish with only the knob poking out. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to make him work I've got other screws about this length, but these are clearly, what, two and a half inch screws, maybe? Roughly, maybe just two inches, actually. It's the same length as these guys. Oh yeah, they're only two inch screws. But, with a little construction adhesive, and uh, sinking the screw into this, and then the amount of time that this will be left to sit and cure and dry before the mattress and myself are on top of it, should be just fine. A whole slathering of construction adhesive on our Little support beam here. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult to do. There's a, there's a camera in my way. Maybe we back you up a little bit. How about you come? Yeah, that's better. Now I can put my big fat arms in the way. So we just put this right there. Nothing crazy. Now let's put a couple screws in. I will have to move you for this because I need to sit somewhere. See if I can do this without pulling this drawer out. I actually had to use the, the phone to see what I was doing. I got both screws in, but the furthest screw, I didn't sink it in quite as far as I wanted to, uh, and I couldn't get the impact driver back on it, so I had to use this to see it, and then I'll... Right. Right in there. Yeah. That's not going anywhere. Well, there we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. This is exciting, too. Last night I started putting stuff, actually in the drawer back here <laughs> uh which is nice i'm starting to get stuff that has been out here for so long back into the uh the tiny home on wheels so we got a lot of our cooking stuff here we got our stove pots pans uh my dettol for when i slice my foot open this summer i'm sure it's going to happen propane booster cables a cutting board and a knife a few other odds and ends here first aid kit obviously and yeah still so much more room but it's just it was nice to start putting stuff in here and see how it's going to work which is uh that's one of the best things or one of the best feelings when you do a diy job like this especially when it's this big you build it how you want it what will work for you and last time i did that but i was restricted with what i had on hand because of situations and now i've got a little bit more freedom to do it exactly how I want to do it. Well, maybe not exactly, because if there was like certain things that I could be doing, I would be, but just uh, limitations and all. There'll always be limitations though, right? But speaking of having to use what I had on hand. Ah, the three orange drawers. <laughs> People that have been around my channel for a while will know the significance of these drawers. And they were great for the most part, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this middle drawer, give me a second, this is, I'm on old man time, old broken man time. Uh, this middle drawer, the slides have actually been broken for, for a while, I would say the better part of a year. Um, again, I installed it all myself. These drawers were from an old dresser of my grandmother's, the orange oh, and the white used to be this sort of like tealy color and uh, painted them white to match the color scheme I had going in Lucky. We got drawer liner in here as well. And I, I don't know, my mom could let us know exactly what year this dresser was from, but my grandmother had it for a while. And it was one of those dressers you could tell they don't make them like that anymore. It had some heft to it. Why is my tens machine so upset with me? 
me see if I can just turn it back on. Maybe that's why it's freaking out. Hey, where's the remote? That's why we can't have nice things. There we go. No, the remote says that the thingy's not on. Hang on. There you go. Quality content. Quality content. So you could tell that it was a dresser of quality. They don't make them like they used to anymore. So it was heavy, heavy, heavy. And these drawers are, uh, they're no exception. But they've served me very well. And I'm glad that I had them on hand. I'm glad that I was able to utilize that in my build. Uh, they're inlaid or inset or how they're inside <laughs> without sounding too fancy. Uh, an old TV stand, actually. You can see this white here and this top was an old entertainment unit you would have gotten from like Ikea or Yisk or something like that. And it's been great. So obviously this is, I've left this until now for a few reasons. Um, I was busy doing the other part of the build. I haven't quite designed how I want all of this to go in my head yet. And also it will be a little sad to see it go because it's like part of my grandparents. And it was, if I'm being nice and corny, it was nice to have something of my grandparents along with me inside my tiny home when I was starting this like new chapter of my life, this reboot of my life. So I've been putting it off, but that, you know, and as nice as that is, I'm not knocking that. It, it, it's, that's true. It's, it's corny, but it's true. Uh, it was comforting to have in here. Um, but like I said, at my grandfather's funeral, the only time I believe somebody actually is ever gone for good is when we stop saying their name out loud and telling stories about them. And I have no intention of doing that. So I'll always have my grandparents with me. <sighs> It'll still be bittersweet as this comes out of lucky um there's a there's a lot of stuff that has to be detached as well because on the far side uh there's my fuse i say a lot of stuff there's a fuse box and another circuit breaker for the dc to dc charger that has to get dismounted from the far side my spice rack is up here which is something i was quite proud of <laughs> when i made it uh, I don't know that it will be coming either because we got those awesome little magnet mount spices in the mail from a subscriber. So anyway, I guess I've been putting it off long enough. It's probably time to take the last fixture out of Lucky 1.0. That's funny, you can't make this up. This whole time I've been in the back of my head, I was like, you know what? When I was first building Lucky 1.0, I had this nice long ruler of my dad's, like just a straight ruler. Um, and it was a big part of the build for measuring, for straight lines and everything. And I've been using his level obviously to get that. I pull out the bottom drawer and unbelievable. <laughs> it's just been here with me this whole time. I probably knew this for a while. It's probably in the junk drawer for the longest time. And then it obviously slipped out at some point. We've also got a cat toy because of course we do. A screwdriver <laughs> and fire starter. Well, that's a sign. Maybe we'll get one of those going. Whole bunch of other junk. See, there's part of the, uh, the sly up here that broke. Look at this, yikes. Just craziness. You can even see the little there's little ball bearings that was in that slide. Yeah, that drawer might have been a little heavy, but all right. Drawers are out. <laughs> well, there's a couple of there's a couple of troublemakers hiding behind the spices. Wow. A whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Yeah, now I gotta figure out exactly how this is. It's solid. <laughs> okay. A few things back here. 
them out of the way. Pull the curtain this way. All right, so down here we got the circuit breaker for the DC DC chargers input side. That'll be simple, just looks like it's a couple self tappers and it can kind of just stay here. Hopefully we can just find a place to mount it because these are really good wires and it hasn't given me any problems since I installed it. And up here we got our very hard to see. That's about as good as I can do because there's a, a seat back right here. <laughs> Rat's nest of a fuse box that has been working also, no problems. Hope we can get that cleaned up. And I want to get that a little bit closer to this area so the wires are shorter. And this guy, I believe, is attached. Where are the mounting screws for this thing? Oh, there they are, in the corners. Right there. Right there. All right, everything is a little extra floppy. We just had these extra two clamps or whatever in the uh, loom that I made in. So that is all looking free. This as well is nice and free. Now we got to go on the hunt for stuff like that. Cause it's those little brackets that are essentially holding this counter into lucky. Well, that wasn't very subtle, but <laughs> they're in a spice rack. Ah, well, you definitely can't say construction adhesive doesn't work. <laughs> this thing, I put construction adhesive on these three two by sixes that were acting as my base. And then I attached the uh, entertainment unit to them. And uh, I'm pretty sure all the screws are out. But that construction adhesive is holding strong. We may have to call in something a little bit bigger to make this a little bit easier on ourselves. Oh, wait, hang on. I just gave it a tug and something seemed like it gave. Let's see. Hold on to your butts. Oh. <laughs> Lucky. He was better. Holy shit. Let me close the door. That's okay. Oh, the whole thing's coming up. Okay. All right. Well, ish. Yikes. Okay. This is a, uh, this is a state. Oh. Well, so much for rest day. Yowza. But I guess it also kind of looks like progress, so. Oof. Oh, whoops. I guess one more of those slides must have broken. I looked down here on my mat. There's a whole bunch of little ball bearings that have fallen out all over the place. I wonder if they're magnetic. Can I pick them up with the foot of my tripod? Oh, I can. Look at that. Easy. Go over here. Get these ones. Oh, that's easy cleanup. <laughs> nice.
construction adhesive. Thank you for your service. Big ass two by six. getting reused. Grace, please hold my jacket. showing dad some of the drone footage that I captured this morning and we were talking about how beautiful of a day it turned into that's super foggy just a couple hours ago if if a couple hours ago and now it was beautiful and lucky is looking like she's got even more room for activities as the saying goes there she is <sighs> a little intimidating but also super cool because like blank canvas now this is one thing I haven't given too much thought to yet uh, we've talked about the little poop apartment that I'm gonna build for Penny here and then that's gonna be the main like cabinetry storage area I'm hoping to not have it come away from the wall as far as this did <laughs> it's a nightmare <laughs> right now uh, so that I can have a little bit more living space inside. Same thing with um, the little poop apartment. That's affectionately what I've decided to start calling it, even though it hasn't been built yet. Um, but it already will be more narrower. More narrower? It'll be narrower than the water station was because the litter box is smaller, so. Yeah, a lot of stuff to start to figure out, but essentially, I think my circuit breaker is absolutely gonna have to move because roughly somewhere in this area, is where the diesel heater is gonna go. Now, the trick to that, and I will be racking my brain on my trip to Calgary tomorrow. Uh, I'll be there for the weekend with my little girl. I'll be figuring out, cause I, I want it out of sight, but still have easy access to it. So I'm thinking some sort of cover with a flip up lid where stuff can be stored on top of it, but easily enough removed when I need access to it, right? So it's just like a little box with a hinged lid that I can then also build on top of, right? So, but probably the way that I will do it once I decide configuration and everything is I will install the diesel heater, run the venting or the ducting that I want because I want the uh, vent to come out over here at the foot of the bed, run all that and then build around it. So I don't have to go jamming ducting in places that I don't want to or not easy to get at, you know, and yeah. All this wiring has to be. <laughs>
Uh, I guess I can start taking that stuff off the wall as well. Um, the, well, the stuff that I want, like the net and Brooklyn's artwork, obviously my screw this sign. Um, because I don't know how exactly I'm going to do all this. I've also been toying with the idea of moving this hanging cabinet back there a ways or even building another hanging cabinet but i don't want it to completely enclose the bed either lots to think about for sure but uh yeah the old girl the old bill did us well and uh blank canvas <laughs> basically kind of like a sunken barge did its job very well and now it's just an old wreck Just a little bit of a different sort of look to my surroundings compared to the last time I was doing this build. And uh, I was about, I'm sort of tearing this down. I got the side wall off and the door off, obviously you saw that. But anybody who's interested, this is what it uh, looks like underneath, right? So this was just like vinyl wrap, like kitchen counter vinyl wrap off Amazon in marble style or whatever. Just uh, adhesive stuff and that's the, uh, that's the, entertainment unit underneath right it's just what provided me my countertop it was actually flipped around backwards flip it around here this is uh this is how you would normally see this uh, i added a board here i can't remember why i added that i think just maybe structural integrity because you never saw this this was the back but this is how this thing would have been set up in your house right tv on top bullshit on the bottom and on the sides it served me well thank you so much for your services Unfortunately, drawer slides don't burn. Two by sixes do. I had this bungee cord attached with like a little like, I don't know, C-clamp or something? Not, not a clamp, but just like a little brace, bracket thing. And this actually is how I held on my camp stove when I first moved into the van. Put that bracket off of there. I haven't used it in forever, but apparently I was just too lazy to take two screws out, get the bracket off, and free the bungee cord. Oh, there's still one more drawer slide in there. Oh, it's on the outside. <laughs> Bye-bye.
pile of hardware that got taken out this is just today and there was a bunch that i had to throw into here as well there's a, there's a lot of screws so well i'm going to get this whole area cleaned up and uh then we'll wrap this up but yeah i'm also plugged in here i had to bring the vitamin out of grace's butt so i could charge my phone so that's what's happening right now and i'm doing a lot of just sort of sitting in here going over this space and seeing I think that's probably where the diesel heater is going to be. I mean, again, that could change. I'm not making any decisions right now. But yeah, that there, and then the diesel tank maybe right there, sticking outside. Let me build up a whole assortment of craziness around it. Say it with me. All together now, that sounds like a future Matthew problem. All right, tied it up as good as it's going to get for now, I think. Uh, I'll say one thing. This... This is very painful. I'm definitely missing my foam pads. They're a little schmutzy right now. That's okay. Um, so I'm not gonna, like I said, do too much more today. That was a good deconstruction. We gave ourselves the blank canvas. One thing I want to point out though. Oh, always cutting me off there, you little tens machine, you. The board that I spray painted white oh so long ago. Um, I finally took that 600 grit sandpaper that I picked up in Canadian Tire the last time I was in Calgary. I took a bit of it to it last night. I just sort of, I just wrapped the sandpaper around a little scrap piece of two by two. And I, I went over this and I'll tell you, it did not take much. This has gotten, it's very hard to tell on the camera, obviously, but it is super nice and smooth. It might actually still have, no, not too bad, a little bit of white dust on it still. But all in all, it turned out really nice. And uh, yeah, the spray paint sands down real fine with 600 grit sandpaper on plywood. It wasn't crazy rough, and you can actually see some of the like imperfections in the wood there, but it is nice and smooth. And in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is going to be the foot of the bed. So that's what we will do to finish this final van build vlog off today. We're going to get that attached and uh i was holding off on it for a while because i was worried that maybe it'll get it'll get dirty while i'm i'm still sort of farting around with all of the electrical and whatnot but now that i got the gas struts installed I hold that open it should be okay the most i will have to do is drill a hole in one side for wires to potentially come out but i've also got a nice space back there might not have to blow any holes in the new ship we shall see but let's get that attached and then we'll call it a day. Figured out how to get this in here yesterday. Had it figured, there we go. Must, no fuss, just move all of the cables over here. The window to the wall. Yeah, there we go. It's a little bent, but I'm betting a few good screws. We'll fix that right up. Screw number one. Number two. Don't split. Foot of bed. A couple more screws over. See, it's already getting dirty. That's what you get for going with white. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I add a couple here because that's where those pillars are. But for now, we're just going to leave it because it looks nice and clean. That's crazy. Go. Coming together. There's lots of room for this chair now. <laughs> Shoes off. We just did all that sweeping and cleaning. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I still can't believe I found this, that that was underneath there this whole time. Well, you'll get to help with this part of the build. 
you want to start keeping a better eye on you. <laughs> anyway, that was a fun vi video today. Fun, fun day for me. Fun to vlog it and uh, be creative and get some stuff done without completely straining my back. So again, like I said at the beginning, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you that is uh, coming along on this journey with me through the van build, through the traveling back and forth to Calgary uh, and BC and uh, everything beyond. Uh, everybody that's along on this journey with me, that is my life. I am uh, I'm greatly appreciative. So again, thank you. We'll leave this one here. I gotta get a bag packed or two and get ready for my weekend with my little girl. So until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. And remember, only dead fish go with the flow. Been broke and beaten down Tasted dirt as I hit the ground You were there, you were there through it all How far are you gonna go before you know what you should have known all along? Now at last I can.